welcome to this new video this video is regarding pivot and and pivot in transform option in power query so for cleaning the data you need to use sometimes a pivot and and pivot options mostly and pivot options we have used so we will see when we can use and pivot and pivot options so when you go to the details we can see this first we will see how we are going to use and pivot options in this example you can see we have one year column then the consecutive years 2001 and 2022 the problem is this table is that it creates new new columns and when we get the data it will be difficult to get the data from all these columns to the from the power query to the visualization because we don't know how many columns they are going to put because if it is uh, till 2050 how many columns it will be too much columns so we need uh, something so that we can manage to get all the tables all the year in one list or all the values in one list so for that we will be selecting these two columns and we will unpivot it and finally we will get the result like this so this will be easy because how much over the data how much over the year increases only three columns will be instead of uh, if you have 2003 means okay there will be four four columns but when we un unpivot it it will come to three columns only but the year column it will increase year the rows it will increase so here you can see 2021 you have this value the same value you can see 2021 and the corresponding value is the same as february so it will unpivot the columns and it will show it in the row wise so at the case of uh, pivoting this totally different idea because it 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 is almost like a grouping so you can see here in the example in this we can see month a type year and value so when you see the table here there is a use case that you need to show that 2021 all the values under cost of employees what you will do it is difficult through power query you can't do anything only you have to write some tax function to get it because the power query it is the corresponding column name is type so you have to search for the in the type column of course in the tax you can write as contains you can use the contains so instead of that in an easy way you can do is you can pivot this table and you can arrange it proper see when you pivot this table see this two values they have made a column for and in the corresponding columns it has arranged the value and the year properly so now if you are asking okay i need to get the cost of employees so you can just calculate this and you get no need of calculating in the visualization also you just drag it and keep the visualization itself will calculate and implicit calculation will be done and you will be able to see the result instead of doing lots of dax calculation so that is a difference between uh, that is the importance on the difference between power query and power in power query the pivot and and pivot option you will see an example of it you can go to home you can go to transform data we are having a cost table that is having year 2001 2022 and another column called types here the problem is you need to get the details on the cost of employees and cost of rent so how we are going to get because because the next data what you are going to get or the live data what you are going to get will be till 2024 so the columns will be increasing so that is one issue another is issue is how we are going to get this cost of employees and cost of rent that is under the type column so you instead of creating a tax so how we can do this first we can unpivot this columns so you need to select these two columns you can right click here and unpivot columns you can just unpivot it so in the original table now if you are, if they are going to give till 2025 here the pro, here the good thing is that columns won't increase only the rows will increase it will go down all the year will come here now we can change this name here actually this is month so we can change it as month and here actually this is year so you can change it as year now still the problem is that because we need to find out the cost of employees and cost of rent that is still a problem so what we can do is we can right click here or you can select this column here and you can go to transform and here we will be getting a pivot column so you can select the pivot column and basically it will aggregate the value so it is like almost like group by so in this you need to select which value to aggregate so which value you need to se select the value because you need to get the value of this corresponding type is and that so you need to select the value and select okay and now you see everything has been formalized properly because you are going to you are getting the cost of employees you are getting the cost of rent also and here well, how much ever the you are how much ever the user gives all the years will go down only it won't 
add the columns so that problem is also so so now you can close and apply and see so now you can tick the visualization you can select a table and you can select the year cost of employees cost of rent so you got it properly here in this table instead of having lots of columns and values there so another thing what we can do is that we can take a pie chart and we can take the cost of employees with respect to the month we can all with respect to the year we can give so it is very easy instead of writing an explicit measure we can do everything properly properly in this way of arranging the data so this will be the advantage when we use pivot or when we use on pivot option hope this is an interesting one have a nice day